Oh no. Hey! Wake up! Wake up! What happened? Everything's gone again. I could have sworn I laid down in a bed. Yeah, I did too. The tames are gone too. So what? A Caprosuchus just came up and ripped me off of my bed and walked off with it? Like, what? No, this happened to me before. Uh, episode... I want to say it was episode 17. The server file got corrupted, and all my information went missing. I mean, it still technically exists, but... And, I'm, and I had the same survivor, the same tribe, but some of my stuff just, like, randomly disappeared. It happened again. This is your fault, isn't it? You, you know what? You, you are the manager of the server. Oh, You're the last one with it. What happened? I'll tell you what probably happened is the uh, hiatus we went on probably screwed some things up. Ark is protesting that we don't play it enough. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't play Ark. It feels like we got PvP wiped. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> so, uh... What do we do? Well... I don't know about you, but I've got literally nothing. So... Same. The first step everybody does... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives. In this series, my brother and I will be going through every single arc map, both story arcs and player arcs, collecting every explorer's note, Clearing every cave, collecting every artifact, and defeating every boss in our quests to become the ultimate Ark survivors. So, without further ado, let's get back into the episode. Let's, let's find some bushes, get some pteranodons, and see if we can get back to the island to get our stuff, alright? Alright. All right, that's it over there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Hey, yeah, there's a rune over there. We can All get right. it later when we come back. Let's get back to the island and pick up some stuff. Hopefully it's still intact. Uh, slight problem with that. It won't let me upload. It's clustered. I upload all the time. I did in season one. Well, you can see that the button's grayed out. At least it is for me. It is for me, too. Well, shoot. So that means we're stuck here. Yeah, that means we're stuck here. Oh. Stupid piece of futuristic ancient technology. I'm sorry, futuristic ancient? Well, it is what it is. I don't know anymore. Uh, so now what? Have you ever built a base? It's literally built off of the same foundation. How can it be so badly messed up?
Not bad, all things considered, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so one possible montage, but probably not later. I'll probably just cut it, skip straight to this. Here we are. Ta-da! We uh, rebuilt the base. It's roughly the same size. I think the other one was a little bit bigger. It's in the same spot. We have a balcony now, which is nice. Given how close we built to the lake, I thought, hey, why not have a balcony over the water? Yeah. Um, having a bridge across might not hurt either. We can get to that at a later point. Um, I mean, technically, we have access down here to the water. And there's a ramp down there, and then there's a ramp up the other side. So you don't even technically need a bridge to yeah. get across. We're going to need to build um, some farm somewhere. But... Do we, though? It's Fjorder. There are crops just laying around on this map. You're right. If we just uh, travel over there and pick up the crops and just travel back. Wouldn't take too long with a griffin or a pteranodon. Yep. We got... A lot of our tames back. Uh, we ended up taming better pteranodons. And we got an Argent. And our. Uh... And so this episode starts the way the last one ended. With a terror bird walking itself into the spike wall. Well, it looks like he got on just as uh, night fell. He come down the stairs and the torches kicked on. Yeah, they come down the stairs and the house lights on fire. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it's very comforting. Uh, it's a relaxing noise, isn't it? So I built a uh, to-do box. Ah, uh, yes. You want to go ahead and pick one? I'm looking at the different notes. Really? <laughs> the last note. <laughs> Don't die, please. <laughs> I should I should just staple that to the side of the building, like the building's gonna die. Because let's be honest, this building has only got about two months left of life in it. Well then we'll need to beat Fjorder before that. I guess. So you're saying just draw one at random? Well, I wouldn't say at random. There are some that kinda have to be done before others. I kinda thought we should tame Thylas, but Argents is also a good place to start. What do you think? I'm thinking, I'm looking at we also roll need, off in the distance out there. We also need cementing paste. Probably help if I don't drop my phone on my lap. We need cementing paste so that we can uh, industrialize the... Alright, so I picked one base. from the first row. Tame Rex is for Boss Army. Um... Before we get to any of that, can we get long necks and darts? We actually have a long neck and darts. Uh, speak for yourself. I have a crossbow with 40 arrows. Check it's in the smithy. Check the smithy. It's over there. There it is. It was hiding behind the fabricator. Oh, look. Ten darts. Wow. I'm going to be able to tame so many. If we got something that could harvest berries, we have plenty of spoiled meat. Well then, that's the first step. Oh. I found a tribe. What level is it? 
I don't know, I don't have a spyglass. You know, we, we could have remedied that before we left the base. It's a level 90. A theory would be nice, but it's gonna be a headache to tame. Hey, I found a 145 trike. That'll work. I don't know where you went. Um, I am over by the ocean. You have to build a trap. Oh, there's Stegos out here! Are they any good? I don't know, they're in the middle of fighting something. I think it's a raptor. There's three of them. Let's see what we got here. 100, 125, for you, 135. The 135 Stego is probably our best bet right now. Honestly, dude, I have no idea where you're at. I don't see the trap. I we literally it. have map location on, and you still can't find me. This yeah. is Fjorder episode one all over again. Except you gave me your coordinates, and I'm in that area, and I'm flying around, and I see nothing. Come on. Why is it not running? I don't know. The good news is, they were fighting Trudons, so they should be sleeping. And it's down. Four arrows left. Still had 840 health in it. There's 140 Mejos. And it looks like it's going to take about 50. Alright. One more thing to do. You gotta go get cryopods. Yeah, I got an idea. Are those fjord hawks still circling you? Yeah. They've never stopped. You think we could tame one? Maybe. I found an Ovis. Should be getting close. There it goes. Is it taming? Well, it's feasting. It's not showing up in my tame tracker. Mine either. Are you just... Oh, I bet because the Argent killed it, and I didn't. What do we name it? I don't know. Original Stego name. Spike. Quite. You want to cryo it? Here. I got you something. Interesting. A currently, as of right now, useless shotgun. I'll work on the bullets. I'll grind up some bullets between episodes. I've got a whole bunch of forges back at home. And we're actually pretty close to getting an indie forge. Can you believe that? Think about the charcoal we can get with that thing. So, let me show you what I did out here. Um, I put these up. They're not running right now. Uh, the charcoal production system. Yep. We're gonna, like I said, we have a ton of metal upstairs. I did that um, in between recording sessions. So there's like three to four thousand metal cooked and done sitting upstairs and there's some scrap metal that needs to be cooked yet um, so I'm gonna get started on grinding out the bullets so we have bullets for next episode and the narcotics I also came in here and I set up this table so we're ready it's crafting that this is done crafting spark powder so we can take this spark powder into our nair. some gunpowder and then we need to make a whole bunch of cementing paste I just pulled 112 chitin from the griffin 
from some titanomyrmas they killed. So let's make up some cement paste. It's only 32 cementing paste, but hey, it's something. We need to go and kill scorpions and stuff. So yeah. we can get that done. <clears throat> um, and the polymer in here, there's some, but I reconsolidated it. We're down polymer. So we're probably going to need to go to the swamp soon and get some more polymer so that this stuff doesn't all go away on us. All right. I mean, the spoil timer, it's half done. The spoil timer is 20 hours. And I got started on some jerky in the corner. Nice. So we need to industrialize this base. Putting up lights would be nice so we don't have torches. Although the torches are kind of homey. Um, we could, like, uh, put lights on the bottom of this for a work area or something. Yeah. We need to build an industrial area. We need to build a breeding pen. I do want a farm, just so we don't have to spend 30 minutes flying to and from the farm that's on the other end of the map, I guess. It doesn't take that much work to set up. And once we get it going, it's pretty much self-sufficient. Right? So, um, the building of the base is pretty much done at this point. All the storage is done, the refining forges is done, the border and pestle area, the crafting area, it's all done. And the porch is pretty well done. We've got a bunch of projects that we need to do. You don't get, don't it, get it, do you? You failed to heed my warnings. warnings. I will now, I will be, now forced be forced to take to drastic, drastic measures. measures. I will not I will be not ignored. Be no one forgets about me. Though. 